You're going to be shocked to hear this, but how about embracing some cold outreach? In a local context, cold outreach can be highly effective because what you'll do is you'll personalize your approach to be mutually beneficial for your local client or the local businesses because you can start to connect and talk to them. Hey, have you seen that new shop that's opened or have you heard about XYZ and whatever? Those cold outreaches will transform into warm interactions. Utilize social media. Go and find Facebook groups for your area. Don't start bombarding it with, hey, I'm a web designer and I do X, Y, Z, or I've got a special offer for you. Just start connecting with people in your area. Become someone who's quite well known. Be careful of what you put. Don't polarize. Don't put anything that's going to be controversial in there. Don't rub people up the wrong way. But just try and be a little bit supportive. Try and just say hi and comment on what other people are doing. And then eventually people will start to notice you more. So that if you ever do cold outreach to them or you mention because someone's mentioned their website or they're launching a new business and you go, oh, yeah, have you ever thought about a website? You're not a complete stranger. Now, all of this is going to require a bit of persistence and a knack for creating relevant, engaging posts and commentary in how you interact with people. And I don't just mean emailing them with a cold email. Try and form a relationship. Become known before you go down that road. How many times have you walked down the road and you say hi to someone? You don't know their name. You don't really know much about them, but you've got so used to seeing them all the time. You pass each other. Even when it's across the road, you kind of just do a bit of a nod. If you ever find out they need a website or maybe you advertise your services, there's a higher chance they might trust and refer to you or even use you. And I mean use you in a good way, not a bad way.